Hey guys, Steve here. Today is November 16th, Monday, 2015. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, before I begin, I'd like to thank everyone uh, who wished me happy birthday from the last video. Uh, I really appreciate it. And to before we get things started with the cars, uh, I wanted to share this particular piece with you. Um, this is my birthday gift from my family. Uh, this is the Lego Big Bang Theory uh, kit. Um, I am a Big Bang Theory fan, and uh, when I saw this on um, in Toys R Us or in um, the Lego store, I was really excited to see it. Um, this particular uh, kit runs uh, about sixty dollars, um, which is it's not too bad considering um, a lot of the other kits that are out there. And so uh, I'm glad I got it. It's very detailed, and as you can see, for those who are familiar with or and or watch. The Big Bang Theory. Uh, it's got all the main characters here, and um, and it's the of course the the, the room is uh, the main uh, probably the main um, um, focus of the show, which is the Leonard and um, um, Sheldon's uh, apartment and in the fam room area uh, and the couch there in the middle with the desk on the right hand side. So it's very detailed as you can see here. And it's got all the characters. I got Raj. Okay. It's got Penny. Um, Amy. Got Sheldon in the background. Of course, Leonard. Okay. So, there you go. Alright, now let's get on to cars. Um, I have a lot of, a few pieces to share with you. Um, have some Hot Wheels, some Green Light. Uh, an M2, a Matchbox, and a Disney Store piece. But we're going to go ahead and start with uh, the, my green light pieces. Um, look, I'm really excited to share this first set of uh, pieces with you. I actually got these in the mail today. Um, so let me focus out here. <clears throat> so what we have here is we have uh, the Hobby, if I'm not mistaken, the Hobby Dad's Garage. These are the two green machines, the 72 Chevrolet C10 pickup trucks. Uh, and the one on the left is, of course, uh, has the camper shell in the back. And the one on the right has the toolbox. Uh, on the back, it looks pretty much the same. It's got the design there. On the top left, the card here, it says, I'm not sure why. If you happen to know why, uh, please comment below. But it says 2017 Maui Fest. So, <clears throat> the one with the camper shell here, very nice piece, you can see, green machine, and there are little numbers, this one's number 36, okay, and then the other one here, of course, like I said, it's got the toolbox, the back of the, um, the bed there, and this is number 79, so a couple little numbers, very nice pieces. Okay. Got a good deal on eBay for those. All right. Uh, since we'll continue with the green lights, um, I wanted to share with you here. I actually ordered a case of the Series Four Hitch and Tow green lights. These uh, came probably like the day or two after I did my last video. And uh, when I ordered the case, this particular case came with three complete sets of the Hitch and Tows. Unfortunately, there were no green machines in it. Uh, this first piece, piece I want to share with you, which I believe I shared with you on my last video, is um, is my um, 68 Chevrolet C10 and concession trailer. This, of course, is the Krispy Kreme um, piece. So let's take the camera off. I already opened these up. Very nice pieces. Okay. One thing I did learn um, is, and I actually had to go back and look at my older um, series one through three sets. Is first of all, they're, they're instead of the taped numbers, they're actually printing the numbers on the bottom of the pieces. This is eleven thousand nine hundred and three. And the second thing I, I, I discovered, um, particularly with this exact same piece, is that the hitch. For some reason, I thought the hitch was actually metal, and it's not. It's actually plastic, a very hard plastic. Um, and it's attached to the bottom of the of the vehicle, so it's actually a plastic hitch. Um, the actual trailer itself, it's kind of cool. Um, 
it actually opens up the little flaps here open up right there and on this side okay uh, the let's see I think on this one the base is metal but the top and the side is all plastic okay the next uh, piece here is this piece piece here this is the 62 um, get my light here this is the 62 Dodge D100 and the Shasta Air Flight. Get my light here. Okay, so truck is really nice, nice and heavy. Uh, the hood does open up on that one. Okay, and the really nice piece of part of this one is the actual camper itself. In this in this particular case, it's all metal, so it's very heavy. Even the hitch itself. It's got a metal base, colors, and a metal shell around it. Um, the only difference is you can't see, the windows are blacked out, so you really can't see inside of it. But still, very cool piece. Okay. All right. The third piece is this one here. This is the 2014 Ram 1500. And horse trailer. That's the NYPD truck. Okay. This this uh, Ram 1400, 1500 has been very popular in the last several um, several series of of cars, such as the off road. Um, very popular. The black the, the black bandit series. Okay. And then you have here um, the horse trailer. Uh, this is again metal base, plastic body all the way around. Uh, but in this one, let's see here. This one, the doors open up in the back. Okay, no horses, unfortunately. Maybe I can find some 164th horses on the on eBay. All right. And then finally, the last piece, which is a new piece with uh, with regards to the hips and toes. This is the 2013 Ford Explorer in uh, boat with trailer. So typical Ford Explorer, nothing new, just you know, just like all the other Ford Explorers. Okay, um, but it is kind of neat to see a boat. The boat is pretty cool. It is all metal, the both the trailer and the boat itself. It's got a um, very nice detail to it, and. Got the hitch there, and I'm not gonna. Well, I can pop this part out. So it's got the covers to it to the boat as well. So you can actually cover um, the main part here as well as the front. I'm not gonna take that out, but there you go. Okay. All right. So that is the series four hitch and tow. If you jump on the green light page or on um, 3000 Toys, you will actually get to see. Um, the Series 5 pieces that are coming out, I think, in November, excuse me, the December, January time frame. So once I get those, I'll share those with you as well. All right, moving on. Uh, the next pieces I'm going to share with you are, you've probably been hearing a lot of talk about the Snowflake cars. Um, these Snowflake cars are actually um, available through Target. They're Target exclusive cars, and they call them Snowflake cards because, as you can see here, there are snowflakes on the card itself. Um, the cars are the same, nothing really different with the cars. Um, these are newer release cars as well. Um, but other than the car, other than the car itself, really the only thing that differentiates the snow the snowflake card is the card itself. So they're um, they're very I want to say they are kind of hard to find because they um, they since A they're only in target and B they're only coming in sidekicks, the, the, the cardboard tall sidekicks that are strapped to the end of the aisle. And from what I've seen, the whole sidekick is not filled with cars. It's filled maybe half with cars and the other half with sets. So in theory, there is usually only maybe uh, two, maybe three dozen uh, snowflake cards, single card, card of cars in the shipper itself. So they can be a little bit difficult to find. It's all about timing. So here, I'm going to go through some of these here. We have the Hot Wheels Rapid Responder. Okay. This is kind of neat. Um, 
not something different that I haven't seen in a while. That's why I got it. This is a side ripper. Got two riders on the front top there. Okay. The 71 Dodge Challenger. That's a very nice piece. It's part of the Then and Now series. Got a couple of these. Of the 2012 Ford Fiesta. School casting. Um, we have the Dodge Ram 1500. It's a very nice truck. This one's actually going up north to Canada. We have the Twin Duction. Also going up to Canada. Let's see if I can get some of this glare off of here. Okay. We have the Turbine Time. Um, huh, now that I know, look at it real quick, it's actually more pink. Uh, this one's go up to north as well, to Toronto, uh, or the um, Ottawa area. Turbine Time. Uh, Jaguar, 2015 Jaguar F-Type Project 7. VW Caddy, the red recolor. The 70 Plymouth AAR Cuda. Two thousand fourteen Corvette Stingray convertible. And finally the ninety Acura NSX. Okay. A couple other Hot Wheels that I uh, picked up. Uh, this is an older one, but this is the Hot Wheels Road Trippin' uh, VW Scirocco GT24. I don't collect the. I don't really collect the Road Trippin' series, except uh, other than the particular castings that I like, and this is one of the castings that I really like. Very cool piece. Right. And then we have. Uh, so that was the Hot Wheels, and then we have this one Matchbox here. I'm um, hoping to find some more Matchbox. Uh, we have the, um, I guess I guess it's a gold, uh, the Aston Martin DBS Volante convertible. Kind of like those rims. All right. So, um, moving on. The last two pieces I want to share with you. This particular piece is, I picked this up at the Disney Store this past week. Uh, this is the Rip Clutch Gnoski. Gnoski. Uh, this is the Chaser Series. This is the uh, Disney Store exclusive 143rd scale. It is one of the ice racers. These ice racers, uh, for those who don't know, um, these ice racers, I don't know if it's all of them, but some of the ice racers have rubber tires. And it's the first time rubber tires that I've seen on the Disney Store 143rd. Um, typically, they're plastic wheels. So, uh, very cool. Um, Spectra Flame, if you want to call it that, uh, metallic orange paint. And that's what it looks like up the front. Okay. And then finally, the last piece I want to share with you is this M2 piece. Um, not a chase, but as I saw it and I like and I and I was eyeing it, and I I thought it had definitely had to come home with me. This is the new uh, Ground Pounders. M2 machines, a 1954 Chevy 3100 truck. I really like the color on this and the wheels. That's pretty cool. Okay. All right, well, there you go. There you have it. Um, let's see, what's coming up? Uh, oh, well, I guess the next big thing coming up for me is the York PA Toy Show. Um, probably the biggest die-cast show on the East Coast. Um, if you live on the East Coast and you live near or within driving distance to York, you definitely want to uh, check it out. Whether you check it out this year or any other year, you have to check it out at least once, particularly if you are uh, die-cast collectors. Um, it is the biggest show on, um, on the East Coast, as far as I know. It happens every Sunday after Thanksgiving, and... This year it will be on. Let's see. This year it's going to be on 
the Saturday. It'll be on the 29th. So November 29th is the York show. So it's a, definitely a, a show that you want to save some money on um, because you're going to spend it all. <laughs> um, but if you're looking for stuff, um, older, newer pieces, any kind of old toys, whatever, that's the place you're going to want to be at and you're going to want to save your money for. Okay. Um, I'm hoping I'll probably do at least maybe one more video before that show, but if I don't, then I'll definitely be doing one when I get back from that show. Okay? Until then, happy hunting, and um, if I don't talk to you guys, happy Thanksgiving to all you guys, and uh, maybe have a safe holidays, and we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.